L'avion plume loosely translates to the feather airplane, and you're about to see why. This is the whoopee fly. It's assembled from a small set of remarkably compact and stowable structures that are screwed, tied, and unfolded to create the basic airframe. This is the trike portion, where the pilot will control the aircraft. The aircraft's main structure is being developed here, with air pressure. It takes about 12 minutes for electric fans to fully inflate the wing around its aluminum and carbon fiber spar before it's ready to be attached to the lower structure, which in this case is little more than a seat and four wheels. The wing's upside down here, and these small red scoops don't provide thrust, they're air inlets that keep the wing inflated while in flight. Fully inflated and ready for final pre-flight assembly, the wing itself weighs about 35 pounds which includes a modest metal frame with which it attaches to the pilot seat. The two are not fixed together rigidly, but loosely. This is a weight shift vehicle, controlled by the pilot's movements as he hangs beneath the wing. His support rig includes a tiny seat, a tiny engine, and a simple thumb lever throttle. The wing's main form is based on the inflated wing sac's rigidity. Unlike a powered paraglider, the wing doesn't need to be laid out and inflated by the breeze, its fans do that. And in the air, the underwing scoops keep the wing inflated even if the wing structure is compromised by a small hole or tear. Unlike a traditional trike ultralight aircraft, this one can fold up into your trunk, be set up by one person in about 15 minutes and flown from nearly any suitable smooth open field, according to the company. Whoopi Fly is based in Switzerland and does sell the wing, trike, and motor together for less than $12,500. At about 35 pounds for the wing, its unlikely shipping adds much to the total cost.